Hi, my name's Steve from Stes Fix, uh, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to install an M2 um, SSD inside the Intel NUC. Now, it's very uh, straightforward, really. Uh, to get into the Intel NUC, there are just four screws on the bottom, uh, which is here. And here, so one on each corner. And the screws don't remove, it'll simply just pull. And the bottom comes off. Now if you've got a hard drive already installed, you do need to be careful at this point because you will have a couple of wires attached to the motherboard. So there we go, we're in. The M2 slot is here and dependent on the size of the, uh, the M.2 card, the screw hole is either here if it's one of the shorter ones or here if it's one of the longer ones. So I have one of the longer ones. So I'm literally going to remove that screw, pop open and slide this in. And it should just pop in like that. It will spring up as you can see there, but as soon as you put the screw in so make sure you don't lose this screw because it's very important so you pop the screw back in don't over tighten it and there we go now it's simply just a case of screwing these back in on the base and there you have it once installed, uh, it's just a simple case of initialising the drive because it won't show up in your uh, my computer until you've done that. And the easiest way to do it is just use create and format hard disk partitions in disk management. You must initialise a disk before logical disk manager can access it. Leave it on GPT, click OK. And now you can see it's this drive here, which is the two terabyte drive that I've just installed, showing up as 1907 gigabytes. You just right click, new simple volume, next, next, assign any drive letter, call it what you want. I'm going to call this one. main SSD perform a quick format and there we go that's done so now when you go into this PC you'll see you now have a 2 terabyte drive listed Now if you want to create a clone of your current disk drive, say you're using this one to replace the disk drive you're currently using, and you want to put everything onto the new M.2 drive you've just installed, I use Macrium uh, for this. It's free. Um, I'll put the link in the description. This is Macrium Reflect 7. Now as soon as you install this, it will pick your drives up um, so we've got this drive here is Windows, 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 that's all the partitions of the C drive so what you want to do is clone this disk and select a disk to clone to and then you want to choose 
the one you've just uh, the one you've just partitioned and format, which in my case is main SSD. And then you just simply click next. You don't want to schedule it, just want to do it now. And then we've got these are the operations here, so it's going to copy this partition, one, two, three, four partitions from C drive, and it's going to transfer them over. You simply hit finish. What do you want to do now? Run this backup now. Save backup and schedules as an XML backup de definition file. Enter a name for this backup definition. So it's worth doing this. So just leave all the everything ticked. Um, and the standard hit OK and then it will give you the warning following drives will be overwritten main SSD that's OK because there's nothing on there all target volume data will be overwritten tick the box continue to proceed and then it will start going OK so that's it done Clone completed, it took 37 minutes in total. You can now close that down. And it's opened up. So that is the original drive. And that is the cloned version. As you can see, everything is exactly the same on that new drive. So now what you need to do, if you want to boot from that drive, you need to shut the PC down and start it. Again. And you need to boot into the setup menu at the beginning. So there are two ways to do this. Uh, the easiest way I find is because if you've got fast boot on, it's not always possible to hit the correct key in time. If you just push the power button down for four seconds and release it, it turns orange, and then it'll boot directly to this. So we need to go into Intel Visual BIOS, which is F2. And then we're going to advanced, boot, and then you choose your boot priority. So you can see we've got the original boot drive here, and then the clone one is here. Drag that up to the top, and now you should be booting from the cloned drive. So you now need to escape and save changes and now it should boot from your clone drive and there we go we're in uh, I think that did actually boot up a little bit quicker so that's it uh, that's all you need to do you can now go ahead and you can delete uh, reformat your original drive if you choose to, uh, and then you can use that for additional storage. Um. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe for more how to videos and can I fix it videos. Take care.